but we can't call it cooking because there's no heat required. Instead, we're going to eat the enzymes in food that's actually alive. Raw food chef Annie Pio joins us this morning with some great raw recipes. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you so being much. here. Now, explain for those who haven't tried it before, what is raw food? Raw food for me is all my food is made with fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. And they're all FDA superfoods because they're packed full of antioxidants and vitamins and minerals and all these nutrients that are really good for keeping us healthy and strong. Now, Annie, when, when you give up meat and dairy, which your food does, we're, we're getting rid of that out of the diet, what's left? I think a lot of people are wondering, if I can't have meat and I can't have dairy, how can I make something really delicious? Oh my gosh, there's such a huge world out there of Mother Nature's bounty. Like fruits and vegetables right now, it's, we're going into summertime, and local and seasonal food are so valuable because when food is eaten at the peak of the season, it's at its strongest flavor, richest flavor profile, but then also really high nutrient content. And it's also less expensive it's, when it's in season, right? Exactly, and we're getting more for our money because there's actually more vitamins and minerals and enzymes and all these great nutrients that we need. And when we cook the food, we're getting rid of a lot of those healthy enzymes, yeah. right? Yeah, studies have shown that the more heat we add to um, our food, the lower it lowers the nutritional value. So you're just cranking it up by eating yeah. it raw. Now you brought exactly. a great summer dessert with a lot of my favorites in it. So let's get started. You're yeah. making fruit with cashew cream today, yes. right? Now how are you making cream without dairy? Oh, it's so easy. It's really, really easy. So all we're going to do is take some cashews and then some dates and some vanilla extract, or you could also use vanilla bean with a little bit of water, and you just put it into the um, food processor and just blend it, Easy, and it becomes a cream. Which is what we've done here. Yes. Okay, and is this, this would replace maybe a whipped cream or, or a cream-based pudding, something like that, that we would use exactly. for a summer party, right? And it tastes so delicious and it's so easy. You could even just make it just by blending cashews, because they're naturally sweet already, with a little bit of water, and then vanilla extract. You could also add coconut oil, which is also really great, a great oil and great fat for our skin and for our heart health. Now, Amy, there's no sugar in here. No. So how, if this is supposed to be our sweet dessert and we're dying, I know I love sweets, so we're dying so for the I. sweet stuff. Are we going to miss the sugar in this? Absolutely not. You tell me. You're going to get to taste it. Okay, I'm going to so, start putting it together. Yeah. I want you to tell me, because you mentioned that raw food is not only good for you and good for your health, but it makes you more beautiful. Is it that true? It does, because you're packing your body with nutrient-rich food. And so in turn, we're also eliminating common allergens, which are soy, dairy, wheat, a lot of animal products actually cause inflammation in our body. And we don't realize that we have an intolerance to those foods. So when we start to eliminate them, then what happens is our inflammation decreases. So immediately our body gets leaner and tighter and longer because the swelling goes down. Now, you were raised on a raw food diet, right? I, you you I, sort I of grew up in this whole movement, so it wasn't a big change for you. But what about the people that have never tried a raw food diet before, and they're thinking, oh, I'm going to miss burgers and you know tacos and all my favorite things. What's your best advice for people that make a transition from maybe a, a standard diet to a raw food diet? How, well, I, how can they transition? I say to eat more raw desserts, because I feel like raw desserts are really a great like gateway food in a way, because <laughs> they're delicious and they're absolutely beautiful, and you don't notice that you're missing anything. A lot of times I make this type of dessert and take it to a potluck or a dinner and people will say, wow, that's so good. How did do you, you make it? Do you tell people that it's raw? Well, I just describe what's in it. I'm like, oh, it's cashews and vanilla and berries. And then they keep saying, well, how, then what did you do? Did you bake it? Did you cook it? And then I'm like, no, it's uncooked. So you can just enjoy it right away. Just like that. So it's super easy too super, for super folks easy. that don't want to spend a lot of time in exactly. the kitchen. Exactly. Super fast and cleanup is really fast. And so this is red, white, and blue in honor of 4th of July that's coming up soon. Perfect. So I feel like a lot of my desserts, like kids love them first of all. So to make this type of thing in the, in the kitchen with your kids is super fun. It's play food. And then also a lot of these recipes make re really great sides to anything we'd have on 4th of July. So any barbecue or it's just like mostly composed different types of salads and different shapes and combinations. and. So maybe start with, with things like desserts that are easy to fall in exactly. love with and exactly. then graduate up to some of your more savory dishes in your book. Exactly, because it's really easy to add a dessert to any meal or to add a salad to any meal or to even add like a protein smoothie shake. To oh, any that meal. would be really easy. It makes it really easy to include now, in whole foods. Tell me about some of your favorites in your book because I'm going to start on this on this dessert because I'm going to start out like slow here. Yes, absolutely. We'll garnish with a little mint because green always looks so pretty. But if I was going to upgrade and try to do a dinner or maybe even a side, what's your next favorite in the book that I should look for? Oh, wow. I love kelp noodles. Kelp noodles. I don't know kelp if you've ever... Kelp noodles. I know. I've never tried kelp noodles. I love sea vegetables because they're packed with minerals from the ocean. They work with... They have iodine, so it works with our thyroid to regulate our metabolism. It's actually been prescribed in history for weight loss, and it has six calories a serving. 
It doesn't have any flour or wheat. It's literally And kelp. you still get that satisfaction of having a pasta so or good. A, Yeah, oh, totally. Yeah. It's really good. It has no flavor, so it carries the flavor of whatever sauce you put on it. And it has six calories and no carbs. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. Calorie cutting, and it makes you more beautiful. I'm sold. Exactly. I'm done. <laughs> I want you guys to get Annie's book. She, you can get it all over the place, but you have it on your website, which we're going to link to our website, so people will get their hands on the raw food essentials yes. and, and get started on a raw food diet. Awesome. Thank Annie, you. Annie, thanks so much for being here and for Thank sharing you. your recipe. We're going to fight over it <laughs> during the break. All the information, you guys, is at sandiego6.com slash green to get Annie's book and all these great recipes. Hey, Renee, I've got dessert covered here, but what else are you bringing to the party this 4th of July? All right. Well, yeah, we got the main dish. We still have